Welcome to Gospel Oak. We're at Gospel Oak. And we're actually in the Silverling livery, which is quite nice. 150! It's 150 time. That's what it is. Ah, uh, guys walking in the way straight away. That's excellent. Right. Yes, so let's let's get ourselves uh, sorted. Let's get ourselves sorted. Um... There we go. Nice. And the headlight things are over here. Marker light. Uh, tail light. Is that, is that right? Yeah, that's right. And headlight. Which one's headlight? There it is. Wrong headlight. <laughs> Wrong headlight. There we go. Nice. Oh, look. There's a 313. Drove that earlier. That we did. Right, we also need to set the destination board as well. Uh, to show barking. We're going to barking. Bedford. That, no, not that. Bedford. Bletchley. Birmingham. Coventry. Northampton. Going the wrong way. Um, Bedford. Gospel Oak. Barking. There we go. Can I turn the destination light on? That's a question. Destination indicator. No. No, I cannot. Oh, well. Such a shame. So, first things first. I'll load on a passenger here at Gospel Oak. You'll be booked to part. It's Envoy. You can call it Upper Holloway. Crouch Hill. Herring Lake. Like yes. Words. Same. Those nice and quick. I'm sure you got all of that. I don't know what the P stands for. Uh, I'm sure someone will know, though. And there goes the 313. Doors are closing. Let's go. Thrash it. Nice. And away we go. Upper Holloway's our next stop. Excellent. I'm also going to pop the window open. That's it. Now we can hear things properly. Bit more, bit more speed, bit more speed. All right, twenty now. Look at that! I do like the one fifty dash one. I want a model version. That I, that I do want. Potentially even in N gauge. That'd be fun. That's it. Power down. i to take a screenshot, I think. <laughs> it's got to happen. Losing the headset already. Wow. There's something seriously wrong with my headset. Or my head. Which is probably the more problematic of the two. <laughs> Hello, Grass. How are you doing? Gotta love, gotta love floating, following you foliage. Train simulator gets all of that. Let's go. That's it. So yes, the Goblin Line. It's been a while since I've driven it. I drove, I drove it pretty much on the day it came out. That was fun. Yeah, it's quite a, it's quite a garish livery, isn't it? But it works in its own right. This is a school. This is the best school in the world because it's got a railway underneath it. Fun fact. So there we go. Right, upper Holloway. What's the braking like in this thing? Haven't really driven it yet. Oh, this is going to be fun. That'll do. Let's start with step one, see what that's like. That's abysmal because we're going downhill. That's it. Okay. She's not too bad. She's not too bad. I'm going to live with this. Made a mess. Okay, Upper Holloway's right here, which is fun. I 
I'd love to walk some abandoned railways. I haven't done that before. Something I want to do in life. Okay. We will shortly be arriving at Upper Holloway. In the Silverlink era, uh, most of these trains were unstaffed and the service was unreliable and it was, uh, yeah, not good. That's why London Overground came in. Right, we need to make our lines better in London. They did. That was ten years ago. Good stop. Best school in the world would have been the CY's University if she hadn't burned in a Hong Kong... Ah, okay. I see. Just imagine this is day one of London Overground, but the day before they stuck the London Overground branding on them. Let's just imagine that, shall we? Time to depart. Nice. It's a good model, isn't it? It's a very good model. Three trains can fit more. Blind me. It's amazing how big they are, isn't it? That's what. No. Okay. Right. Let's go. Thirty limits approaching. Crouch Hill is next. This is just a nice simple run up to Barking. That's all we're doing right now. It's going to be good. Nothing can go wrong. Come on, get back down below 30 by yourself. I have faith in you. I have faith. Don't don't let don't let that faith dwindle away. Come on. Get down for don't let me apply the brake. Uh oh, oh, oh you're going to you're going to make oh you're making me apply the brake. Oh, okay, fair enough. It's amazing how different this is. This is still North London. And yet it's completely different. <laughs> to what we've been driving so far today. It's sort of, you know, less buildings, more just trees, which is which is fun. Look at that. That's nice. Impossible to get any sort of not nice light cast on the train though. Trees everywhere. Crouch Hill approacheth. I think there's quite a few abandoned stations on this line as well. You see, like the older, uh, the old platforms and such, which is nice detail. This isn't one of them. This this is not a platform. This is a retaining wall. That's it. I'm shortly arriving at Crouch Hill. Those are some good breaks when you go into full service. They really are. Almost too good. Come on. Let's at least get a bit closer to the S car marker. That's good enough for me. Nice break, Screech. Screenshots there. I always like to take a couple at the same location because you get like people walking in different places and the cars in the background and such. I hear you. I hear you. You can't hide from me. It's one, two, three. <laughs> That's one, two, three. Oh no. I know it's a different train, but still, there's something about one, two, three that's just haunting me today. Oh, look at that. Nice little clag going on as well. That's good. Excellent. 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 There she goes. Alright, 
I'm not the one who can approve links, I'm the one driving a train. There'd have to be another... There'd have, there'd have to be a mod available to do that. And now I'm speeding. Reading the chat's bad enough, I can't start typing it as well. <laughs> Alright, Ozdaz, thanks for watching. I believe that that's a connection to the East Coast Main Line, I think, going up there. Potentially. I think so. I think we're about to go underneath the East Coast Main Line. Speeding. Gradient. Too busy looking at chat. <laughs> there you go, the links were posted by Cell. Thanks, Cell. Yep. Quarter to three, thereabouts. Yep. That's the time. Time for me. Alright, here we go. The next stop approacheth. Rather live in a HST or a 373. Well, I'd say a 373 because you've got a lot more room. <laughs> There's a lot more room. They're a lot longer. Twenty-five forty-three for you, is it? <laughs> twenty-five hours in a day. Uh, I mean, I'd make twenty, at least twenty-six hours in a day. <laughs> Where on earth do you live? <laughs> oh, that makes me laugh. Right, doors opening, people getting off and on, and oh, that was funny. Right. Nice. Look at that. AP lighting is the best. Brings sort of colours to life and uh Yeah, that's good. Nice shot like that, I think. Yeah, I know the doors are closing. I'm not taking I'm not leaving yet though. Screenshot first. Screenshots come first. <laughs> that's it, now we can go. That was fun. Let's go. United is long enough, yeah, yeah. I imagine they are. Okay. Away we go. South of Tottenham. You live in Planet Zorg, not on the not on the planet. You live in the planet. Is that is that what I'm getting the impression? So you live underground or something? Sounds like fun. I'm the mole man. Sounds exactly like my so my kind of thing. <laughs> Living underground. The mole that prefers the overground to the underground. That just makes per perfect sense. This is nice and slow and sedate, isn't it? It's nice and nice and gentle ride. Quite different to. Uh, I mean, it's dead straight. I mean, this. this I'm not being funny. This could be a, a, a 60 section at least. This is dead straight. It's mostly, it's probably due to the limitations of the infrastructure, like what we're, you know, riding on, because we are elevated. That's probably the reason for the limit. No one blink free. Nice. Well done. This is oh wow, this is pretty good, isn't it? I just I, I looked at it, then took a double take, and then decided to comment on how good it is. AWS. I caught it right. No. Oh come on. Ah. And it was going so well. It was going so well. There we go. We're on our way. 
Super busy looking at things. And enjoying things. I was, I was I was amazed by this. It just it just looks so inviting. In a in a strange way. There we go. South Tottenham is the next stop. We're going under an underneath another railway. What's this one? That's the... Oops. <laughs> didn't want to do that. Well, I kind of did want to do that. I wanted to have a look this way, though. What are you? Oh, Seven Sisters, you're the... You're the, like, the Lee Valley lines and such. Oh, okay. Right, That's that makes sense. Yep. That makes a lot of sense. Screenshot. It's happening. Right there. That's it. Speeding relentlessly. Oh well. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Full service in this thing's really good. Like really, really, really good. course in the real world now most of this has been electrified they're just closing it one more time at the end of the year C come on I pushed keyboard I pushed the keyboard key many times and it did not register us did not register at all that counts though if passengers in the front coach could please move down that's because uh, the brake thing was sticking yeah I see a shed. Do we all do it? Does everyone else see the shed? I think I see the shed. That shed isn't moving very quick, though. That's the thing. Oh my god, hi, dude. Can I help you there? No? Okay. Let's go. Is it me or is that very echoey? Nah, it's probably just me. See, look at that. Forty-five. Let's go. What's up, shed? How's life? He's on the move. First GBRF. Next stop is Black Horse Road. Just warning me of another 20 limit. Great fun. Getting some speed up. That'll do. And now we break. The Mormon theme with the horn. Well, it's the wrong kind of horn, but... And I did that wrong. That's the best you're going to get. Unless you mean the outro music, in which case, no, that's not That's not going to be impossible. That's going to be... That's going to be impossible. That's what I meant to say. That's it. I'm on a 1 in 73 gradient as well. It's going to be fun. Screenshot. Very quick, cheeky screenshot, just just to, you know, capture that again. Because that, that right there, is all good. That is all good. This gradient is not playing fair. How long have I been live streaming for? Just over, just, just just sort of topped four hours at the moment, which is, uh, fun. Speed up. Let's go. Bring the camera back in a bit. Right. 
Hope you feel better soon then. Feel better soon indeed. Look at that. That's good, that, isn't it? It shortly be arriving at Black Horse Road. Oh, there's another train. Nice. Excellent. I enjoyed that. Doors opening. <sighs> Excellent. Look at that. I, lo I love that. I love that. I really do. It looks very good. I enjoy it. What's going on? We're driving trains, London Overground related things, because it's London Overground time. Let's go. And we're on our way. How many more stops? Uh, there's quite a few, but that's fine. We went to see Flying Scotsman this morning. Very, very nice. Power up. Thrashing it good. Definitely sounds good out here. No, I'm not getting the 150-2 pack. It's not happening at the price that it is. Even with the discount, it's too expensive for me right now. I'm not I'm not buying it at that price. Not not right now. I'll get it when it's on sale one day. That's it. So Queen's Road is next. Come on, you need to break harder than that. That's it. <laughs> Just a little bit of cheeky full service. Doesn't do anyone any harm. That's it, that's it, that's it. Nice. That's a good stop. Alright, the lady. The li I'm sorry. Are you, are you trying to match Silverlink? You almost look, you look directly like the train. You've got the same colour scheme going on. <laughs> Just look at that. The yellow's the front, uh, and her, that's her face. Her top is the is the purple body. Her s skirt's the green, and her black tights and uh, the underframe. <laughs> that's ridiculous. <laughs> Silverlink cosplay. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. It's fantastic. Nice. I like it. I like it. Let's get out of here. Late Midden Road. Exhaust effect. Nice. Excellent. 
are they finishing the Goblin line? They're closing it for the from like November 21st till the end of the year, and then I think that's when they'll be that's when they'll finish it. Then they'll do testing, and the new train should be ready by about May June time next year. So that'll be fun. The first few have been built, or the first one's been shown off at the you know construction plant and stuff, and they look good. They look good. Seven tens. So yeah, hopefully. It'll be an all-electric service towards the end of next year, which will be fun. Once enough of them have been delivered. Although hopefully between now and then, quite a few trains will be delivered, so that'll be good. Alright, Leighton Midland Road is uh, the next stop on our journey to Barking. Are you Barking mad? I had to do that. Just pop, I, had to, I tried to I tried to refrain from doing that, but I had to do that. Yep, I agree. Indeed. All right, start breaking. This should be uh, pretty successful, hopefully. Where will the one seven twos go? No, I I don't know. I don't know. London Overground won't need them anymore, so they'll go back to their, um, who own them, the leasing company, which is possibly Angel Trains. Um, and then they'll be up, they'll, you know, they'll be offered to other companies if they want them, potentially. I mean, given that there's already a 172 fleet with, like, uh, Chilton and London Midland, I suspect possibly though either of those two. But they'd need modifications for Chilton use potentially. Nothing major, but. Well, I certainly hope you feel better soon. That's 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 a, that's a thing. Because being unwell sucks. Welcome, Ben. Welcome. Right, let's get going. Leightonston High Road, I'm coming for you. It's going to be awesome. I'm looking back on Crazy Dad. Crash it! Excellent. How's life grip been? You doing good? Excellent. 172 in southeastern livery. Well, it just looked like a like a Electro Star, really. Pretty much, it wouldn't be the, that different. It'd apply in the same sort of way. Road. Go down. Got that. Monstead Park, Woodgrange Park, and Barking. Not bad. Funny. Thank you. Thank you. Funny man slash YouTuber. That's me. Right, we are at the uh, latest in High Road. That's it. I couldn't get my words out there. I was, what, what? What is it? I was reading it, thinking, "What is that word?" <laughs> I've said it several times, but it's latest in High Road. It's always important, guys. If you're ever in a, like, you know, a situation you don't want to be in, you know, like bullying or something, don't don't stoop down to their level. Take the high road, quite literally. Go, just go to latest in High Road and watch trains. That'll make you feel better. Oh, come on, why didn't the front doors open? That's not fair. <sighs> right. Get an interesting shot there. I think we can, I think we can, I think we can. 
There we go. The sun's shining brightly there. Blimey. And the doors close. And we go. Bye-bye, train. Have fun. I'm the driver, by the way. You're all just... I've just left them all alone. It's really freaky. When I was on the train to go to the... Uh, the Three Bridges Depot open day. I was... I got on the train at Tunbridge to head for Redhill, and... I was just... I mean, I, I, was, I was watching these guys chatting before they got in the cab and got in and stuff. And the guy who I thought was the driver, you know, because he had gone in and out of the cab and all that jazz and every time he went in the cab I heard cab noises like the G GSMR and AWS and stuff like that and I thought okay he's the driver he's fine looks like a cool driver to me nice and experienced but then after we left Tunbridge we were going like you know 70 miles an hour towards Lye and all he did <laughs> well all I saw was the cab door open and the guy just a guy just walked out into the cabin and I thought Christ what's he done he's left the train by himself to drive itself and oh my god, I, I, I um my heart skipped a beat. But he wasn't the driver. He was training someone else. <laughs> Cause even even the guard said, um You drive you put it on autopilot, mate. <laughs> Made me laugh. Made me laugh. That that it did. I'm taking another screenshot here because sod it. That made me laugh to uh to no end. Just seeing the man who I thought was the driver just suddenly walk out of the cab whilst the train's doing 70 miles an hour. <laughs> that was that was a bit terrifying. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. So there you go. That's my story of the first time I... One of the first times I went on to uh, the, uh, you know, Tumbridge Red Hill line. There you go. Yes, I know the DVD, but he, he, was, he, walked, he was out of the cab for less than a minute and it's a foot pedal. So if you just wait for it to, you know, wait for it to, the vigilance to go off once, you just put something on it. <laughs> You're good for a minute, you can leave it alone. It's terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. But it was, it was a, it was a right old laugh. The second I realised he wasn't the driver. I thought he was, I, I was convinced he was the driver, but it was clear, clearly not. But there we go. Alright, approaching Wanstead Park. It's always... When there's abandoned platforms, it can get very disorientating. Because you think, oh, I've got ages left to go, but no, the rest of the platform's disused. You've got to know where the stopping point is. That's it. You know what? I don't know. Someone, what does that P mean? I I genuinely don't know. I I think it is it on both sides. It's not denoting which side is which, is it? Ah, it might have something to do with which side is which, because only this side has got P. So it might have something to do with that. Like you know, this it just denotes which end the train is facing. I I guess perhaps maybe. That's my guess, but it could be something. Uh. A bit, bit more than that. Now the re the rest of the platform is actually uh because they were longer, but it was disused and the trains were used shorter. They've had to re-extend most of them, like open it all up. I mean, platforms back in the day would have probably been built to a uh, more of a standard length for like four coach trains and such. But as as the line deteriorated, it dropped down to two and even one cars. So most of the platforms were just left to be a you know, abandoned. You only needed to use a little bit. So, I imagine that's what it is. That's what I imagine. Right, so, let's get going. Woodgrange Park and Barking are the only two stops left on this journey. Oh, thanks for watching. Dan, yeah, D, D and yes, love. Yeah, words. Hello, Alice. Thanks for watching. <laughs> That makes it a bit easier. 
Hope you feel better soon. Alright, there's a 30 limit at the bottom of this hill. Which is gonna be fun. Start breaking a tiny bit. It's a 1 in 65, so just gotta be careful. Just gotta be careful. And there's some overhead electrification. Look at that. Nice. Not much use for us, but it's there nonetheless. Excellent. Right. Now we slow down a bit more. I can words. Oh yeah, I can, I can sew words. Words is words is yes. I can I can definitely do do yes to words. Without a shadow of a doubt. Shortly be arriving at Woodgrange Park. This train is for Barking. The next stop is. I've been to Barking real life. I've potentially been through it once, maybe, but nothing. No, not really. And the closest I probably get to Barking is when High Speed One darts nearby. That's it. Screechy brakes! Hello, Dord. Right. Everyone doing good? Everyone getting on? All, all lovely stuff? Excellent. I love the attention to detail that's on this route. Probably just because it's not a, that long of, it, of an extension as such, but uh, if you look, you go up here, there's an open gate and it actually says Woodgrange Park and I, I love it. Such attention to detail. Time to thrash it! Nice. Nice. Barking, final stop. And then we'll be done for this uh, this scenario. Okay. Nearly there. Nearly there. Nearly at 45. It's all looking good. That's a double yellow. On the coast now. Bit of break. Nothing too ridiculous, but you know, it's all good. Is there more banter to be had? Oh, you know it to be true. You know it to be true. Got a couple more things to do yet. Don't you worry about it. Haven't even got to the rail tour side of things yet. It's going to be a long stream if I, if I do all of that. <laughs> it's going to be a long stream indeed. Alright, single yellow signal. So at the moment I just don't think we're cleared into the barking, barking station. Oh no, it's a diversionary. It's just because they're not flashing, it's confusing me. Okay, well, we're going nice and slow already anyway. That's fine. So a stream tomorrow. There was going to be a stream tomorrow, but I... <laughs> tree. I think I'm going to have to cancel it, because A, this stream's going to be long, and B, more foliage. I've got to check something on my computer desk. I think it's about to fall apart, so <laughs> I need to get the computer off of it, which means I'm plugging it, which means having time to also stream tomorrow might be a bit tight. But we'll see. We shall see. We shall see. It'll probably be something very casual if I do stream. For people watching on YouTube, you can ignore this detail. <laughs> that you can indeed. Right. Here we go. Uh, 
Excellent. Any items left on the train will be stolen immediately. That they will. And destroyed. Or pondered at for a little while where people just stand around it scratching their heads going, Is it suspicious? And then and then someone will do something about it. Not far away from barking now. I see nice and slow. It's looking good. Looking oh hello, yep. Is that something I need to worry about? No, it's fine. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. That's a single, single yellow. <sighs> I'd like to think it's a single yellow. Could you imagine if it was double yellow? That means the signal at the buffers would be a single yellow, and we could go past it. <laughs> and just smash straight through the buffers and go into lands unknown. That's it. Approaching nice and slow. So you go up, along, down, up, down, and then you get here. That's a very complicated way to get into a train station, I have to say. Nice. Right, so where's our, where's our marker of markeriness? There it is. Good old barking. I just need C2C now and it'll be good. That's it. That's it. Here we go. And stopped. This is barking. This train terminates here. All change police. There we go. Come on. That's the angle I was looking for. That's more or less what I wanted. Right, let's... Uh, um, markers off. Instruments off. Tails on. Headlights off. That's it. Um, that's it. Excellent! Work! Driver! That's me done for now! Is it? Ding ding! Excellent! Well, that went well.